YouTube family, yes sir, it's your boy and we're back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over how you guys find the gaps in your zones. And also, I'm going to apply a new strategy that's going to help you guys out if you guys do not see your supply and demand setup or you see your supply and demand setup and your zone got invalid, okay? This is going to be a liquidity grab setup and I'm telling you what I'm going to show you guys is going to blow your mind, okay? So you guys do not want to miss this video because I'm literally going to show you guys how you guys can be versatile in this market to actually become a profitable trader to make money every single day because this literally happens all the time. But I just started seeing this because the last week when I was back testing the trades, I have seen this many times and it's 95% accurate to the strategy okay so this goes hand to hand with your supply and demand zones but it's going to be a different way where you guys feel like your zone becomes invalid you look for these key points and i promise you guys you guys are going to change the way you trade okay so watch the whole video because i'm not bushing i'm going to show you guys three examples of of this strategy and how effective it is okay so before I even get into the breakdown of the new strategy that we are going to incorporate into our everyday routine, okay, I want to show you guys what happened yesterday, okay? If you guys know, we just started April, we are in the second quarter, and last, actually this morning, we caught a fire banger in London session, okay? So I'm not going to break down the trades in this video, I'm just going to show you guys that we really do this and we really call this out, and the Discord is real and transparent as it can be, okay? So let me pull up the Discord so yesterday i called out again you guys can see it's all documented there's no cap here yesterday you can see 4-1 okay the first day of april which is today still okay i'm waiting on gold this i called it on gold forex and gold futures okay so i caught this out i'm waiting okay i'm telling everybody i'm in okay and tp smash okay this is on gold forex again the future signal same thing with gold futures 4-1 I, ju I just can see i'm waiting i'm telling everybody i'm in and then what happened tp smash okay um let's look at the chat room w's 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 everywhere man we really do this man okay i'm telling everybody's right i'm in for buys and then just look at this man w's after w's after w's everybody is really making money in here okay same thing with the the free discord again uh, i caught this out for the free discord i only call out two trades in the free discord but yesterday i caught out one again i'm waiting okay tp smash again for the the public chat room but again we are really doing this and let's look at the signal chat the the signal stats okay we're 74 percent win rate on the private chat room for the futures forex we are 71 percent win rate with 32 wins and 13 loss we are really doing this man everything's documented so if you want to become a part of a community to actually trade and actually have a family and we all care for each other we all want to see each other grow the link will be down below okay i'm not charging you guys anything extra it's only 40 dollars a month and i promise you guys your investment will come back to you instantly okay so besides showing y'all all that man you guys see you guys know we do this okay i'm not gonna keep explaining myself but we really do this let's get into the actual breakdown okay so i'm going to show you guys two things in this video okay how do you find your zones okay and how it could be a high probability zone and how you take a setup if your zone becomes invalid okay because most of the time when my zone becomes invalid i'm not relying on that zone anymore but i have been back testing and i found how you could use the zone if it becomes invalid okay i'm literally going to show you guys in this video so you guys will be amazed okay so let's get into the first uh example um let me just so in order for you to have a gap and to have a zone you need to see if there's aggressive buying or selling okay are we breaking structure and is there a gap now the gap is going to come along if you see that we have aggressive buying or selling and you understand which way we are going in the markets okay so let me erase this so at this this is on the five minute but this works on the 15 the one hour depending on what kind of trader you are if you like to be on the charts longer you like to hold your trade longer do it on the higher time frame but me i'm scalping every single day and this is what i do every single day okay i'm not changing anything up okay so first things first you want to see if there's aggressive move so if you just look at this on the five minute okay uh, let me put this on there where are the aggressive move this is an aggressive move okay there's another aggressive move right here we obviously know we're on the uptrend so i'm not gonna look for any supply uh, zones on this trade but you have to train your eye to see 
all the aggressive moves okay so we have aggressive moves at these area again this is a five minute so we look at the most recent candles and price action okay so we have aggressive moves so let me just clear this one because we're not looking down here no more okay we're on the the most recent time and the, the most recent candles okay so again we have aggressive buying or selling right here okay now are we breaking structure yes we are we're breaking all of these highs over here breaking these highs we're breaking all of these over here and we're just taking out all of these highs we're literally breaking multiple structure to the upside with just this one move okay so what is that telling me that's telling me that i am very confident in buying but i need to see if we have a gap so let's let me clear all this out so how do you see we have a gap okay so what a gap really means is where that move started okay if you are looking at demand setup you need to look at the bearish candle before that push now if that bearish candle has a gap you will see it okay so let's 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 find the gap right here let's find our zone first and let's let's find the gap after okay so where is our zone if you look at the previous bearish candle before the move where did the move actually start the move started right here okay that's where the move started okay now before the move start on a demand setup you need to look at the bearish candle before that move so let's look at the first bearish candle is there a gap okay let me draw the zone um on that first bearish candle i'm gonna show you what i mean by gap okay now you're not always gonna get a perfect uh first candle with the gap so you have to really understand the gaps if you draw your candle or your box around the first bearish candle what just happened look at how the move started so let's say we draw our box at this bearish candle right you see this bullish candle it left the box you see how it wicked out the box and it came back in that gap is already filled so that's not a valid gap okay whenever you see a candle leave the box and it comes back in that gap has been filled and you want to look to the next bearish candle okay so let's draw it on the next bearish candle so let's pull it over here again what happened on this bearish candle as well with this candle still left the gap and came back in inside this zone okay you do not want to do that because that's a low probability zone okay so when you see that what do you do now you go to the next bearish candle okay so the next bearish candle wick is all the way up here okay at this bearish candle and of course we're gonna leave it down here because this is the lowest area that the move started okay so now look at what just happened at this bearish candle wick okay if you draw the box around that that candle down here look at how this bullish candle left the box okay it left the box and never came back in okay so when you find your gaps you need to see or when you find your zone you need to see if that bullish candle any bullish candle leave the box without coming back yet okay so you see how now our zone is valid now this is a high probability setup because why we have a candle that left and never came back in so now we have multiple gaps now where's the gap the gap is from the body of that candle okay so down here this has to be filled it just has to be filled tap into your zone and then go back up because why because what a gap means is there's aggressive buyer there's big people putting money into the market and it has to come back to let retail traders come back in so that we could continue pushing the market to the upside okay so again the market doesn't keep moving up like this it always needs a retracement so that's what the gap is telling you the gap is telling you hey we need to come back before i could go back up again okay so this is our gap okay now what do you do now once you have everything set up you just wait okay you wait for price to come back and fill in your uh gaps and tap into your demands on to give you that candle break okay so let me just play this out let me move this to the side let me play this out again i'm only waiting for price on this zone because why we had a major break of structure okay that these points over here these are previous highs that we had so that if this move broke all structure to the upside i'm waiting for price to come back here because again we're also at the bottom so i'd rather buy low than buy high okay so let me just play this out okay let's play this out again i don't care what what is happening up there okay because we don't have a setup up there okay i'm waiting for my zone to get tapped okay so okay cool 
now look at this okay so as you, as, you, as you guys see right now we have came down and filled in this much because or actually we came down and filled in this much now how do you how do you, did you guys see how i drew that gap from the lowest area of this open space in that gap okay so this was the lowest area the, the way came down to so now we still have this gap right here to get filled okay so i'm still waiting i'm not taking any entries yet i'm still waiting okay so now let's play this out look at this candle now the gap is fully filled so we can we don't have to worry about the gap no more okay but now look at what just happened here we broke the zone okay but there was no body that closed outside of the zone now if this candle closed out the body the body the actual body closed outside of this box that's an invalid trade i'm not looking for any more trades now since we know we are very bullish and this candle came all the way down here it was the body was all the way down here and then we closed all the way back above so if the candle break your zone okay but it leaves you a big wick and there's no body that closed outside of that zone that is a valid liquidity grab okay what just happened here is it just took out liquidity okay there's people stop losses down here it took them out and now you wait for your candle break okay so let me repeat this one more time if the candle break outside of your zone but the body does not close outside of your zone and it leaves you awake okay you take the next candle break because that's a liquidity grab it already took out everybody here now it's ready to go back up okay so when you see this something like this okay be confident in taking that trade so now let's wait for the next candle break still haven't got a candle break boom that's our candle break so when you take this candle break okay how you want to do it put your stops below the wick okay because that's the lowest area if, if a candle closed down here you already lost a trade okay but put it below the wick and then go for your one-to-one -one. let's play this out like look at what just happened okay literally when you have a liquidity grab at your zone okay and the body does not close outside of your zone you take the next candle brick and you put your stop loss below the lowest area of that liquidity grab candle okay which was this candle which is the wick was down here and look what just happened this move exploded okay so when you have a setup like this or when you see this at your zone okay don't always think that the zone is invalid just because we broke past the zone look at the zone and see what is happening at that candle if the body closed outside that zone cool that setup is done for okay now the candle goes all the way back either into the box or above the box and it leaves you awake take that trade with confidence okay so this is the first example as, as you as you guys can see back then if i saw this type of candle that come out the zone i would not take it but again when you incorporate liquidity grabs into your setups and your everyday routine you will get more gains and you become more profitable as you are more versatile in the markets okay so that was the first setup okay again let's go over to the next one let me copy this real quick let's go over to the next one this setup okay let me see if i can paste this here actually no. all right so let's look at this again let's look at this new setup all right let me we're gonna we're gonna start from the beginning and we're gonna go through it step by step okay so we're above the 200 okay this on the five minute so i'm very bullish okay i know this is an uptrend we're going up okay we haven't broke any lows now what do you do you look if you are in a bullish trend you look for only demand setups okay so let's find the aggressive moves that has not been tapped into or came back to yet right here this is the move we have two big bullish candle not only do we have two big bullish candle but we're also breaking structure now what structure are we breaking we're breaking these highs over here okay we're also breaking these highs a wick to me is a break of structure okay that's something you have to understand there's there's always price at those wicks okay do not wait for nobody to close above to break structure that's not what we do here we either do the the wick because most of the time it's going to be a wick that breaks structure okay so we have aggressive move right here okay we also have two break of structure we're breaking structure to the upside and we have aggressive buying okay so cool i understand that now 
when you draw your demands on you find your gaps what do we do first okay we see the first bearish candle that was bef uh, before that bullish move okay so where's the first where did the move start the move started right here that caused the breaker structure okay now let's look at the first bearish candle take out your zone and draw it and just draw it just draw it out once you draw it, you're going to keep seeing this so from the top of that bearish wick to the bottom right here of this bullish wick okay because this is your zone there's no such thing as an exact price you just have a zone and you expect to see a reaction at those zones okay so now where's the gap when this move came you see how this this makes a high probability look at the candle that left the box this candle right here left the box okay never came back into the box and just kept pushing up the wick came back a little bit but we kept pushing up you want to wait for a price to come back to your zone and fill in the gaps and then you can take your entry okay now where's the gap the gap is from the bottom of this wick right here okay to this because why we have not came back in here yet to fill in the gap so we just have to wait you just have to be very patient and be on your hands when you're waiting for these type of setups okay so what do we do now so we just wait right we have our gap we have our zone we know we're bullish now let's wait let me put this back okay so let's play this out all right so we filled in the gap cool as we filled in the gap actually we still have a little bit left okay so now we fully filled in the gap now look what just happened this candle broke outside of the box as you can see the wick is all the way down here it was eventually at some point this whole candle was, was bearish it broke outside of the box and it came all the way back up and it closed above your zone if it closed inside your zone or if it closed above the zone it's still valid okay but you want to see how that candle closed if this candle closed like this above the zone we are very confident in taking these buys okay because why we already took out liquidity down here everybody that had their stop loss over here they're already taken out okay so we broke we were once below here again if the body does not close outside the zone and it wicks like this it is still valid demand setup but you're gonna add a liquidity entry to it okay so what do we do next at this point we just wait we wait for our candle break okay so let's play this out oh let's replay this it went too fast we didn't have a break yet okay boom that's our break so we put our stops i mean we enter right here once that bullish candle break this next bullish candle break that previous bullish candle stops below the wick okay and we go for our one-to-one -one. always put your stops below the wick because if a candle really closes down here then you're you're on the wrong trend okay but if the again i really want you guys to know how important this is if a candle body closes outside the zone it's invalid now if a candle body calls outside the zone but comes all the way back into it or above the zone and leaves you a wick take the next candle break put your thoughts below the the longest wick that was at the bottom and go for your one to one so let's play this out again tp smash literally in 5 10 15 20 in 25 minutes you caught what 25 ticks literally in 25 minutes okay so again this works almost 95% of the time I have been back testing this I'm not going to give you guys bullshit I'm going to show you guys what happens if your zone gets invalidated okay so this was another demand now let's go over one more setup okay this is a supply setup and again it's the same thing okay same thing over and over again so let's clear this out, Let me clear this out. so obviously we are breaking structure to the downside this is a five minute again we're under the 200 ema okay now we look for aggressive selling where do you see aggressive selling this is literally easy you literally see this when you get on this is aggressive selling right here bearish candle after 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 bearish candle we literally have seven eight consecutive bearish candle not only that but we're breaking structure we're breaking these lows right here okay breaking all of these lows over here so we're breaking lows with this aggressive move so cool i like that that's what i like to see okay now on a supply setup instead of looking at a bearish candle before the drop the the push on a supply setup you want to look at the bullish candle before the drop 
okay before the aggressive selling happened so we know aggressive selling we're breaking structure so cool now i'm confident in this setup now i just need to see my zone and see if there's a gap so let's take out your box oh actually let me i misplaced it what just happened What just happened? Give me one second. Every time I hit the space button, it always does that. Mm. Give me one second, guys. I'm so sorry. Where is that? Where is that move? This happened to me multiple times. I'm so sorry. Why did everything just erase? I'm trying to find this for you guys. It just literally erased everything. What that set up? Oh my god, I think I think it just erased everything so I can't find that move again, but I'm gonna see if I can see one over here, okay? So just give me let me just take me out of replay. I think I can I think I remember where it was at. Okay, I don't see it, but I see another one, okay? So Let's go over this one. So let's replay this right here. Okay, cool. So sorry about that guys, but let's go over another one because I don't know what happened. It just literally cleared it out. So let's go over this one, okay? So again, you want, this is going to be a supply setup and you want to see where the aggressive selling is happening, okay? Again, we have aggressive selling right here, okay? That aggressive selling is not only selling off, but it's breaking structure. We're breaking structure right here, breaking structure here, breaking structure here. Okay, so now we have multiple breaking structures to the downside, and we have aggressive selling. So you understand we have aggressive selling, and we having we're breaking structure. Now, instead of looking at the bullish candle, I mean the bearish candle before the bullish move on a supply setup, you want to look at the bullish candle before the aggressive selling happen. Okay, so. Let's take out your box and let's draw it at the at the first bullish candle we see before the drop. So it would be from here to here. Okay. Now do you guys see where the gap is at? Make that red. Okay. So you see how this zone, okay? Let's look at it very closely. At this bullish candle, when we draw our zone around it, this bearish candle left the box and never came back into it, okay? So that's a high probability supply setup. Okay, now where's the gap? So let's see, let's look at the first candle that left the, the zone. This candle left the zone. We only came back to this much. So we have a gap from the top of this wick to right here, okay? So this is our gap, okay? Let me erase that. This is the gap that needs to be filled. As it filled it, it's most likely going to tap into your supply zone and then you will take the setup okay your your entry so now what do we do now okay we just wait we're literally in a waiting game so let's wait for price to come back okay fill in the gaps and then we wait for entry so let's play it out boom so 
what just happened? We came back, we filled in the gaps, so let's clear out the gaps. Now look at this candle. Okay, I want y'all to really look at this. This candle again, this is a supply setup. This candle was, the body was obviously all the way up here. It did not close outside of the zone, okay? It came back into the zone or, or below the zone, okay? So that's what you want to look for if your zone becomes invalid, okay? Now, if the candle closed outside the zone, forget about that supply setup. It's not going to happen, okay? But if the candle closed, if the candle come outside, came back in and wicked off like this, what do we do? We take the next candle break, okay? So let's play this out. Boom. That would be our entry right here, okay? Stops right there again. I mean, entry right there stops above the wick, okay? Because that's the highest area that if, if the candle is all the way up here, you're, you're, you forget about the trick. It's already over with, okay? And then you go for your one-to-one. -one. Literally in five minutes, if you enter it right here, five minutes, you caught, what, 12 ticks on this trade, okay? So again, literally, this is all it is to this setup, okay? To this strategy. If your zone becomes invalid, look to see if you get a candle that left the zone and came back if it came back inside the box okay that's still okay as long as there's no candle that closed outside of your zone okay vice versa okay so you do not want to take this type of strategy or this type of setup if the candle closed outside the zone now when you see a wick and you see the candle come back in feel free to take it when the next candle break but always put your stops above the highest area and then go for your once one because I promise you when I see this type of setup, it hits 95% of the time, okay? So again, I'm sorry uh, that uh, we had lost that previous example that I was going to show you guys. But again, this, as, you, as you guys can see, this happens every single day. And sometimes your zone are respected. Sometimes it's not, okay? So you just have to be very careful with your setup and understand what is going, what or what is happening, okay? So again, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you guys learned something and... You know, apply this every day, okay? Keep going at it. This is second quarter. 2024 is really just starting. So, let's keep pushing. Don't let your feet off the gas. And, you know, let's make 2024 the best year ever, okay? So, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.